Hi. I think I'm going to have to talk a little louder because I've got to just aim my voice at the microphone somewhere on the computer until I actually get a microphone. Um, then it'll be a lot better. I want to take it to the next stage now. So yesterday we um, made these, which actually I have to say have turned out really nicely, especially the one nearest to you. It's so pretty. It's got lots and lots of um, potential. In fact, you could just leave it like that actually, but we'll take it a bit further. Because I think I've done one in mainly silver, one in mainly gold, and one in mainly copper. And we can keep the difference like that. So we can start to work on that first of all. I think the secret here is to add a little bit more of the size. I keep building it up in, in layers. And if you keep doing this, then it just adds more and more interest. So this maybe could have a little bit around the edge there. And maybe just down the centre, like that. And the copper one is the one that's looking least interesting at the moment. So perhaps I will add some silver into this one by covering up some of the copper. That way it will have more subtlety and more beauty. There we go. Pop those away. Um, yesterday I made lots of these. And they've dried. But there's another stage I can take them to because when I was playing around with these um, beer bottle impressions that I'm also making, one of them just accidentally, oh, I can't feel it now, but one of them just cracked a little bit. Um, porcella isn't porcelain, it is paper clay. So what I've done is I've put a little piece of this on the back and I thought in order to be safe I'd do that with all of them. Um, that's one method. Another method is to um, to cut pieces of plastic out of old food containers. I love to do that too, and and stick them on. And I've also got a little heat tool, which isn't a heat gun, but it has a sort of um, a pointy bit at the end which heats up, which you can score and, and poke about and make patterns on um, plastic. So you, you can make some really interesting textures there. So for this I think I'll just um, cut up a few of these and show you how, I don't really suppose I need to show you how to do this really, it's such a cinch. So one, two, three. And just cut them into bits. That'll do. I can always do the rest later. So I've got a glass, I think it must have been a picture frame. I seem to collect bits of glass. We used to have the most fantastic recycling centre um, in our town until quite recently. It was wonderful. It was run by alternative Totnes types. <laughs> it was great. And you could go in there and anyone would bring stuff in and all the gardening things would go into the... Um, see what I'm doing? I'm just um, putting blobs of water on the bits of mod rock like that. So people took all their stuff to the uh, recycling centre. I was alerted to it by a friend of mine who was a painter and she said she, she got all her house paint from there. She said it was brilliant. She'd get tins of farrow and ball that people have bought and not used. Farrow and ball paint in England is a paint we all really love. It's um, the kind of stuff, it's very pasty and chalky um, and it's often used by the National Trust and old historic houses. And they do lots and lots of different, very flat, just off-white shades. So everyone loves fire on ball paint. And um, God, I'll just plop these on like that. And I used to go to the recycling centre and it almost became like a sort of magical journey at one point because I would think to myself, I could really do with some canes and some big pots to put the tomatoes in. And I'd go off to town and I'd whiz around to the recycling centre, get rid of something I didn't want, and lo and behold, there were the canes and there were the big pots. It could be anything. I used to play all sorts of games with myself in my head. I suppose it's called, by a lot of people, cosmic ordering, but I didn't know that anyhow. I just did it and it happened and it worked. There you go. So now we've done that, we can just squidge 
the bits up close as well actually that's rather nice very very nice in fact you can't really see it because it's all covered in splidgy splodgy plaster of paris but i think i'm going to do that with all of these just push them in with the end of a blade because it's just a very very fine gauze and it won't come apart but it is inc incredibly delicate you see this is just thinking on the hoof isn't it i just thought i needed to strengthen them perhaps because i don't want you going off and spending all your time making these and then come back and say actually you know hillary that didn't work it all fell apart it's all a bit hit and miss anyway everything i do is a little bit hit and miss if I find something that works and I like doing it, then I do repeat it a little bit. But to be honest, I don't like to do the same thing over and over again. I'm always on the lookout for new things. So, <laughs> so I'm sure there's an awful lot of people like me out there. If it gets a little bit, t you know, it's just beginning to harden off slightly. I just add a little more water, it seems. Everything I do is in the form of experimentation, and I think that is really good. So I'm going to pop it into the on the shelf, and I'll do the rest later. I did a couple yesterday um, with a, where I put silver on, and I'm going to just leave those for now. I've did I put, oh, I did put sticky on that. That's good. I put a bit of um, gold leaf on that one. In the middle. Yeah, it's very, very subtle and very nice. Oh yes, look. Good, good. And I've also made some tiny ones as earrings just by taking the original mould and a little bit of my Pozzello, which of course isn't it to hand. Here it is. Just getting a little bit, tiny bit, sort of two bits like that, and sticking them into one part of it and just making a very sort of rough circle like that. See? And they will make rather beautiful kind of organic-y shaped earrings. Okay, golly, oh, that's eight minutes already. I'll pause it now and move on to something else. Okay, take a break. <laughs>